Hello guys, this is James. Today we're gonna to talk about line height and the unit leaf spanner. So first, what is line height? What's the difference between line height and height? Line height is deals with something between two lines. If we have a very long test, and then of course it will goes maybe line one, line two, and line three. Then the space between the adjacent lines would be really determined by the line height. And then the height, usually just if it applies to the P, the block elements, then it will just define the whole height of the block elements. Uh, so the height can be very high, but the adjacent space between two lines can be very little, something like this. Actually, we can see that here, the height is very high, it's 320, something like that. But a uh, you can see that it's very narrow between the two lines in our test, all right? And the second thing we deal with the line height, the value is assigned to the line height. It can be assigned with something like pixels, EM, those units, and also it can just be signed up with one, two, three, without any unit, that is unit list. Okay, and today we're gonna to find out what's that. The first thing we just delete, and now we have just uh, defined. Uh, just defined again. Okay, it seems uh, something very normal, and then we use the body. We give it uh, a line height. Line, line height is something naturally can be inherited. Outcomes, we give it the font size. Mm, looks okay. Then we we'll give it four. So it seems it's enlarged in sort of a proportion. So how will we need to calculate it? Actually, line height 1.2. So the line height will be inherited will be 1.2 times 16, because of course the, the EM is 16, so it will be timed by 16. And when you come to the about us, it will just inherit this number rather than the exact value. So what we got here is, it has a line height sort of 1.2. Then we calculate the font size. The font size should be two times EM, that's 16, 32. And then the line height should be 1.2 times 32. So that's how we really calculate. So even the font size become larger, the line height between the two lines are get larger. All right, if we don't set a Euclid's value, but we use something like this, let's see what will happen. We'll just squeeze with each other when it's happened. Because rather than we just inherit the 1.2 and, and then it will cal calculate locally, it will exactly just uh, inherited 1.2 times 16. So here, uh, the line height is 1.2 like si times 16, where the font size is 2 EM. So it will really make it squeeze each other. There's no lot enough space for the bigger uh, font. If we set it bigger, then it will squeeze the problem. Yeah, it's like a lot legible at all. So always remember to use the line height without any unit or unit list rather than use something like this. So, okay, thank you for watching.